Imagine. It's the early 1900s. You're in Paris. Your skin is so itchy, it's dry. And then you figure out it's because of the hard tap water. In comes my cellar water. The holy grail product that saved Paris's skin. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but for real, micellar water was created in Paris in 1910 because their tap water was so harsh, but it wasn't until, I gotta make sure I get these dates right, 1995, that Bioderm created the first commercially available micellar water. And traditionally, Bioderm used the ingredient, I always say it wrong, let me make sure I say it right, PEG-6, Caprolic Capric Glycerides. My cellar waters were created to be cleansers that you don't have to wash off, but as the beauty industry does what the beauty industry does, it likes to take a product and create what I, I'm gonna call hybrids of it, different versions of it. There's tons of different types of surfactants. Some lather, that is probably the typical surfactants you think of in like your body washes, face washes, but also surfactants emulsify. Surfactants also solubilize. There are so many different types of surfactants. Think of a PEG-6 caprolic capric glycerides, kind of like the one that cleans, but it doesn't like foam and lather a bunch. Although if you do shake your micellar water, it, there will be some bubbles. If you want to learn more about the science of surfactants, I actually have lots of videos that do talk about that. So let's go ahead and gather the ingredients we need to make this easy micellar water that I guarantee even if you've never formulated, you can make this at home. First, you need the PEG-6 caprolic capric glycerides like we talked about. And then I recommend adding some kind of a humectant to help hydrate your skin. A really common inexpensive one is glycerin. Propendyle is another good choice. And then obviously we need some kind of preservative. There's a lot to choose from, but I'm gonna pick the easiest beginner friendly preservative and that is Liquid Dermal Plus. If you want a natural formula, I have a natural micellar water formula over on Patreon. And then that's it. The only other ingredient we need is distilled water, which you can get at any grocery store. We're gonna mix everything in a clean, sanitized bowl. So I like to first add in the glycerin with the PEG-6 caprolic capric glycerides. Then I'm gonna add in the preservative. And then I'm gonna pour in the distilled water. Make sure you mix everything together well. That is how easy it is to make a micellar water. Natural pH of this product is 402, which is totally fine for your skin. Your skin's natural pH is between 4.5 to 5.5, so it is a little bit lower, but it's still totally safe for your skin. By face micellar waters also use PEG-6 caprolic capric glycerides, but I've seen all kinds of different surfactants use. Coco glucoside, deco glucoside, caprol capric glucoside. And I actually have a good handful of micellar water formulas over on Patreon, and I might have a few here on my channel where I've used some of those surfactants in the past, but they were used in micellar waters, not by face micellar waters. So for this by face micellar water, it's just gonna be super simple and I'm gonna use natural ingredients. So instead of the PEG-6 caprolic capric glycerides, since that isn't natural, I'm going to use caprol, caprol glucoside. And then of course the preservative liquid dermal plus, that's not natural. So instead I'm gonna use GeoGuard ECT, that's a natural preservative and it does smell like almonds. So keep that in mind, it will make your product naturally smell like almond. I actually think it smells pretty good. And I am sticking with the glycerin and I'm also sticking with distilled water. If you want, you could use a hydrosol or something. For the oil phase, obviously it's up to you what you wanna use, but I would recommend a lighter weight emollient. There are a lot you can choose from. Cocoa caprolate, olive squalane, and caprolic capric triglycerides. Those are probably three of the most common natural ones I would recommend, but there are some other emollient esters like iso, hexa, decane that's actually really good at 
taking off makeup. It really comes down to what you're using this bi-phase micellar water for, which I'm assuming it's to remove makeup, but like how much makeup do you use? Do you, you want it to remove waterproof makeup? I even seen bi-phase micellar waters on the market use castor oil or other natural oils like grapeseed oil. Castor oil is a really heavy oil, but I know people love to use it to remove makeup. If you're planning on using this bi-phase micellar water as a makeup remover, you can make it with heavier oils or oils that are better at removing waterproof makeup. It doesn't matter if it's heavy because you're gonna be washing it off afterwards with a foaming cleanser. But if you want to use this as a non-wash off bi-phase micellar water, I like to wash off my bi-phase micellar waters, but if you don't want to, I would recommend something like Caprolic Capric triglycerides. Oh, and one last ingredient I'm gonna be adding. This is completely optional. I'm just adding it for aesthetic purposes. It's blue malachite extract, and this will add a gorgeous blue hue to the product naturally. I actually have an entire video I did all about how to color your products naturally. So check that out if you want some natural coloring hacks. Over on Patreon, I am making a like more luxurious version of a natural bi-phase micellar water. So go over there if you want that formula. You can even just buy it instead of signing up for a monthly subscription. You can buy any of my formulas, well not any of them, but most of them for just a one-time payment instead of signing up if you want. Again, grab a sanitized bowl. And for this, I recommend mixing the glycerin and preservative together first with the caprolic capric glucoside. You wanna make sure everything is well combined. So I'm gonna add in the distilled water. And the last ingredient for the water phase is the blue malachite extract. Now you can use whatever extract you want here, or you could use a water soluble dye, or don't add anything here at all, just add more distilled water. It's up to you. Now, before you move on to the oil phase, you do want to make sure you check and adjust the pH of your water phase but I have already made this formula before and it checked and adjusted the pH and the natural pH 402. So I'm just gonna keep the pH here. And since this is a biphase micellar water, I will most likely wash my face again after this. So it doesn't really matter. Water's pH is seven anyway. So I'm just going to leave the pH here, but if it's the first time you're making it, make sure you do check the pH just to be safe. For the oil phase, again, we're just keeping this simple. So I'm just adding in caprolic capric triglyceride. Before you pour this into your bottles, you wanna make sure you mix well. That way each bottle gets an equal amount of water and oil. So again, this is just a super simple version of a bi-phase micellar water. I would recommend adding some kind of solubilizer just to help keep the oil and water blended just a little bit longer. It'll definitely help making the pouring into the bottle process better, but I try to make this simple for you guys. And for those of you guys who are more serious about formulating and want to make a more advanced version, you guys can get the advanced formula over on my Patreon. I'm also sharing a biphase micellar water formula over there that isn't natural for those of you guys who don't care about staying within using natural ingredients. Sorry, I'm just self-promoting all the time, but like if I don't, you guys will ask me in the comments for a recipe like that. So I always gotta remind you guys like, hey, I have this video, I have that video, link below, blah, 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 blah. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I learned a lot about micellar waters. It, I, I wasn't planning on doing this much of a video. I just learned about micellar waters and I was like, hey, you know what? Let's do a whole video talking about the history in Paris and all that stuff. Out of all these micellar water formulas I've made, I think my favorite, honestly, I really like the basic one because this is perfect for touching up my makeup but I've really been into the salicylic acid one I made over on Patreon. It's a like a traditional micellar water, but it has salicylic acid in it at 0.5%, so it does exfoliate. And I use that as a night cleanser one day when I didn't wear makeup. If I'm wearing makeup, I, I have to wash my face with a foaming cleanser. But if I don't wear makeup, I can handle this, especially right now because my skin is so dry because I have the heat on now. So micellar water, is also a good cleanser to use if you're dealing with a lot of dry skin in the winter time and you just don't wanna wash your face or if you're running late for work and you don't wanna wash your face and you don't have time. 
All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over and binge watch for only $5 a month. Also, if you don't have access to Patreon in your country, you can sign up as a YouTube member instead. If you sign up for the $10 tier on my Patreon, you get a shout out for your small business. I'll have all these brands linked below. Naturesmagicllc.com from Dusk Sopery on Etsy, LloydCandleCompany.com, HB Royal Retreat Store on Etsy, Nature'sFarmGirl.com, Let's Blend LLC, at Stardust Bath and Body, HempyGirl.com, ShopLevi's.com, Owl and Lily over on Etsy, Skin Lounge Co. over on Etsy, BlackPetalBeauty.com, EmbraceBeautyEssentials.com, legendarybathandbody.com, astariapothecary.com, Raviga Cosmetics here on YouTube, exorebb.com, pardonaturals.com, naturalstateskin.com, thenatureinus.ca, nearcatalier.com, use the code on the screen for 20% off, earthandambernaturals.com, sharkcitynaturals.com, daytorelaxproducts.com, crownedglowerylc.com, lhscentedsoapsandmore.com, janaerose.com, healthnutbeauty on Etsy, velvettemptations.com, journeyrosebeauty.com, chrbrands.com, Homestead Life Goods on Etsy, CanalaBathAndBody.com, MadhouseMamaSoaps.com, Xpo.com, Mystical Morning on Etsy, Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, and MyCrownAndGlory.com. Thank you so much for you guys' support. Without you guys over on Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So thank you so much.